All right, guys, so welcome back to Joe's RC Corner, and we're getting ready to go out to the airport. Uh, we finished building the uh, trailer here and uh, got it registered, so we're all good to go there. Uh, we got the uh, tank loaded up for right now. We're going to take that out to the airport, and uh, we're going to finish building this whole thing out uh, with the hose, the tank, and, uh, of course, we do have the... Uh, uh, some rack mounts that are going to get mounted on here as well and uh, the bottom side of this plywood and probably the top side as well We're going to go ahead and put some uh, Raptor liner uh, Off-brand stuff that we just roll onto that wood and that's going to be uh, what's going to be protecting this plywood uh, While we're out there now guys the prices of plywood are ridiculous right now So just pay attention to that when you're building something like this, but uh, you do need it. So It is what it is so next thing is, guys, we're going to go out to the airport with this here, and uh, we're going to get it set up, try to finish building it up this weekend, and then we're going to be putting together a list of what needs to be done on the Cricut so we can get the Cricut done um, and hopefully make it out to Oshkosh uh, in July. Um, we're going to do our best. I'm not sure if it's going to be feasible, but we're going to do our best, and we're going to try to get out there. So uh, all right, guys, I'll meet you guys out at the airport. Okay guys, so we're now out at the airport, uh, back out at the hangar, and uh, as you can see, we went ahead and we got the trailer out uh, out here. So now this is uh, ready to start working on and getting it set up. So the plan is, uh, we're gonna be taking, the, taking all this off of here, first of all, um, and then uh, we're gonna get the plywood uh, holes lined up, get those all marked, drill them then we can uh go ahead and take some of this stuff here i bought this at uh, lowe's it's a herculiner it's a truck bed liner undercoating so we're going to line paint that onto the uh the plywood uh kind of seal that in nice and nice and uh water tight uh so that way it's uh less likely to have any issues down the road if we drive it down the road uh, so we'll, uh, we'll take care of that um, after we get the holes drilled, get this bolted down. Then I need to figure out how I want to mount this. Originally I was thinking about putting it here, but uh, I'm not sure if I really want that much weight up near the tongue. So I'll play around with it, kind of figure out where I want to put it. Uh, I do have these bars here that are going to mount on this as well. So that way I still have some use, storage use of the uh, trailer here. Uh, make sure that I can still use it for, you know, carrying ladders or anything like that. So I don't have to put them on my car. Um, this is going to be the battery box that's going to power the fuel pump here. Uh, so that battery box is going to have a charger built into it. Uh, so all I have to do is plug it in, tender the batteries, uh, which will allow me to use this to pump fuel up into the wings. So... That's the plan. Uh, that's what we're gonna do with it. Not sure where uh, it's gonna mount first, but we'll figure that out as we go. Uh, like I said, I wanna make sure it's a safe location for traveling. Uh, you know, all the weight up in the front sometimes isn't great. And of course we don't want it back there. Centered is always better. Uh, so we'll see if that location works good. And I may leave it just right there in the middle. That'll distribute the weight nicely. Uh, allowing for nice towing but until then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start working on putting together a list uh, for the cricket because we need to start figuring out what actually is left I need to write it down so I can see it and uh, start checking things off on that box or in those boxes uh, so that we're ready to go um, I'm really still trying to make it for Oshkosh, but um, I'm not going to rush, guys. If I'm not ready, I'm not ready. However, I am still going to come to Oshkosh. Uh, so I'm going to purchase some flights, some tickets uh, for my wife and I to come out to Oshkosh. If the plane is done, I'll just cancel the flights and we'll fly out. 
if the plane is not ready and the flowers are not flown off on it, then I will come out and uh, join the Viking guys uh, out there uh, anyway. So either way, we're coming out. We're going to come see you guys out there at Oshkosh 2022. We are just not sure if the cricket's going to make it out there. So we're going to do our best. But like I said, we're not going to rush, guys. We're going to get this plane done correctly and safely and uh, make sure she's ready to go for that long trip. We don't want to force anything here, guys. So uh, that's the plan. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to catch you guys uh, early. This was a late start on the video. So tomorrow we'll catch out with you guys pretty early here. We're going to get out here, uncover the plane, see how everything sat for that month that I was gone. Uh, maybe start working on the trailer, get that trailer knocked out, get it set up power systems wise and everything. And then we'll set the, uh, get that done and out of the way, right? And then start working on that list of uh, items that need to be completed on the Cricut and uh, start knocking that list down. Because there's a lot of small things, guys, and it just keeps adding up. Um, so I know that's gonna take a little bit of time, but we're gonna get it done. We're gonna knock it out and we're gonna get her ready. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be out there at Oshkosh. Hey guys, so welcome back. And uh, like I said, uh, so we're on the next day. Got a little bit of a late start. So, you know, but uh, went ahead and got started here as soon as I walked in and uh, started working on this. So the bottom side, uh, as you see in the picture, which I'll put somewhere here, uh, you'll see the bottom side has already got the uh, Rhino liner on it. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of getting it all squared up here and uh, start mounting, figuring out where I want to mount things. So uh, we'll get the arms here and then we're going to try to line up the tank on where, roughly where it is. I want to make sure that uh, the tank is going to be mounted uh, at least to uh, one or both of the crossbars uh, that support the go across in here. And then we're going to get uh, that uh, marked and uh, drilled. It's lined up. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll take it, that all off and then we're going to rhino line this whole top section as well. Uh, let that cure for a few days, mostly over the week, the full week. And uh, that way later on we could take the tank next week, drop it up on top and then finish doing everything that needs to be done uh, for the tank at that point. You know, wiring, um, hose, the pump, all that fun stuff, we'll get that taken care of. So uh, that's what we're going to be working on today, guys. And then uh, once I'm done with that, we're going to start sitting down uh, at the bench or maybe in the office area. And uh, we're going to start looking at what needs to be completed on the Cricut. Uh, get that list finalized and uh, I know things will pop up along the way but we'll add them as we need to and uh, once that's done uh, then we're start working on that next week so that's the plan guys so we're gonna keep working So we're back, uh, got a lot done here. So uh, let me uh, go ahead and turn the camera around and uh, we'll take a quick look and see what we've gotten done. Uh, but uh, yeah, the uh, trailer is uh, pretty much set up here. Uh, as you can see, we got the uh, um, bed liner material uh, paint. It's a cheap off brand, as I mentioned before, but uh, that worked out really good. Covers it up, uh, it's gonna protect it. I already have the holes drilled and uh, I'm going to put the tank right here actually and uh, one set of the ears uh, on the tank here are going to go in right here 
And the reason why I chose that location here is that's gonna go, there's a beam right underneath. Uh, so it'll actually be bolted to the frame uh, on this front section here. Back here, it's gonna be bolted to the plywood here, but uh, that should be fine. Uh, we got the frame here that's gonna hold it in place, and then we got the back one back here. Should be good to go. Uh, but by mounting it up here, I still have, I'm gonna have the, the hose and everything up on this side of the tank. So I'm gonna make up a, a hanger of some sort around here that's going to allow to uh, allow me to uh, hang my hose uh, for the fuel tank, um, somewhere in that area. And then we'll have the filler on that side, uh, driver side, because on my car, it's on that driver side anyway, so I can just pull up and be good to go. Also cut my finger, so uh, pretty good gash there. So uh, the uh, metal is pretty sharp, so just be gentle, be careful with that. Uh, I was tightening it up one of the bolts, slipped and sliced right through, but should be fine. I'll heal up, no big deal. Uh, these uh, bars are gonna allow me to also carry a ladder um, if I need to use the, the uh, trailer for uh, that purpose. Um, the back side here, I'll still have some space basically from here on. Uh, so back that side, I'll be able to use it for uh, carrying other things as well. But th by having the fuel tank here, it's in the front side, just in front of the tires. That's where you really should have you, your weight. Um, so right about here is good. That's gonna work out perfectly. Uh, we do have my battery box here that's gonna be mounted uh, right up in this section here. It's gonna ground to the frame uh, and then uh, also ground the tank to the frame. So that way when we're fueling, I can pull my cable out and attach it to the airframe here uh, when I'm fueling the plane. So that should work out really good. I'm uh, looking, liking how this is coming out. Uh, this stuff really stinks. So I'm gonna be leaving here, uh, let that cure over the week. Uh, so that way next week I can come out, get that tank bolted down, um, and then uh, start worrying about the electrics and so on. So what I'm gonna be working on this week then on the plane is I'm gonna go home, get cleaned up, and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna go through what do I need to do next? Um, I'd like to say I'd like to start working on the fuel tanks because I do need to get the wings back off again, but I also need to get the flapperons built back here because if I get these flapperons built, uh, then when I paint the wing, I can paint everything all at the same time get this all closed up, because I knew you'd need to get this finished up and closed, get this top uh, also finished up and closed, get the fuel tank in place. Uh, we're gonna leave the plastic on because it is pretty windy out here, guys, uh, right now. This is that time of the year where we start getting a lot of wind. Uh, so we're just gonna keep it covered. Uh, try to limit some of the sand getting into the plane here and into the hangar, uh, but we'll work on that next. Uh, but that's the, uh, that's the overall plan, guys. That's where we are. So that's where I'm going to leave you guys here. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm going to try to make it to uh, Oshkosh with the cricket, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. We'll do our best, see where we are uh, as we get a little bit closer. Uh, I do have another work trip coming up. It's only three days instead of the long trip, so um, three days will be fine. And, takes one of the days out of my weekend uh, before I go, but uh, should only be a short trip. Be back and come right back on the, uh, on the build here, get that cricket built. So like I said, guys, other than that, that's pretty much it. We, that's all we got for right now. Uh, we're gonna call it quits for the day. We're gonna straighten up, clean up, and uh, head back home, start working on my list of items that I need to get done on the cricket here uh, so we can button things up. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, we got to close up the top here. We got to finish up the tail, get things rigged, get things off and then painted, um, finish up the wings, fuel tanks, wiring, switches uh, need to be finalized on some things. So we need to get behind that panel still. That's why that's not closed up entirely yet. Finish the windscreen. Man, that list just keeps growing, guys, but uh, we'll knock it out and uh, hopefully 
Fingers crossed, we'll be able to take the cricket out to Oshkosh. But if not, I'm going to be purchasing uh, tickets uh, for an airline. Uh, so that way I can still make it out there and see all of you out at uh, Sun and, or at Oshkosh. So uh, without further ado, guys, that's it. I'm going to see you guys on the next video. I'm, I'm super stoked to be back and working on the plane and working on projects out here. So uh, stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you guys on the next video. See ya. Bye now.